in the Star Trek Picard series, who was responsible for attacking Mars? For this, I will be using information from Countdown Comics, Star Trek Online, and Star Trek Picard Easter Eggs to formulate my hypothesis on who was responsible for this rogue attack that devastated Mars in the star year of 2384. The time frame is post Star Trek Nemesis in the 2380s. A political power struggle divided the former Romulan Star Empire into the Republic Senate supported by a majority of the Romulan military and most of the war-weary citizens after enduring centuries of military rule. The Star Empire loyalists, controlled by the traditional Praetor and backed by the Tal Shiar elite military, seceded from the Republic and relocated to the Hobus star system where Tal Shiar Central Command is based. Being outnumbered by the Star Republic, Loyalist forces attempt to develop Iconian Borg technology using the Hobus star system as a power source, but this sends, that sends out readings to other Quadrant powers, interpreting it as a precursor to Supernova. In 2382, the Tal Shiar learn of the Federation Rescue Armada and a plan of action is set into motion to prevent Starfleet from entering the heart of Romulan territory where they would no doubt uncover the Borg Iconian Weapons Development Program. In 2384, the Romulan Republic dispatches a task force of picket warships to protect the Federation Rescue Armada. The Starfleet synthetic soldiers would crew these ships for escort duties into Romulan space. The Tau Siar concentrated a large cloaked assault fleet shadowing the Republic ships near Mars. Tau Siar agents successfully upload a Borg source code on Mars gaining direct control over the synthetics commanding them to disable the Mars defense grid and use the Romulan Republic ships to hit strategic targets along with Starfleet defense vessels, leaving the Utopia Planitia shipyards helpless. The Tal Shar fleet decloaks above Mars orbit and unleashes a massive planetary bombardment destroying the atmosphere along with the Romulan Republic ships attacking the surface. Although it was an overwhelming victory, they underestimated the Federation's ability for asymmetric covert operations from their longtime arch rivals, Section 31. The Federation Security Council calls in all their favors from the Klingon High Council and Klingon defense forces assist the Romulan Republic's military and Section 31 supports Riemann resistance factions resulting in an overwhelming offensive that drives the Tal Shar military into full-scale withdrawal and by the star year of 2387 loyalist forces are confined to their Hobus star system command base a top-level Tal Shiar faction of Praetor loyalists fanatically refused to surrender and ignite the Hobus star with the Iconian energy and the star goes hypernova carving a shockwave of fire over a hundred light years radius destroying the Romulan homeworlds and a dozen more star systems. This radical Romulan faction was the Jat Bosch, an ancient Kobol organization operating from the shadows. Instead of allowing the Romulan Republic to defeat their military, they unleashed an untested Iconian weapon that malfunctioned, collapsing the Hobus star into a hypernova. 
After the destruction of the Romulan Republic and the Empire Loyalist, the Zat Bosch mobilized the new Romulan Free State Reclamation Zone and actively disperse operatives to govern and rally the factions from the former Romulan Star Empire under one Romulan unification. By star year 2394, the Agency of Galactic Security was created between the Alpha and Beta Quadrant Major Powerers Intelligence Services. The Jat Bosch divulged their knowledge of a common threat more dangerous than anything ever before encountered. The Federation Klingons Romulans are now working together behind the scenes for mutual survival leading up to the Star Trek Picard series year of 2399. 129 years from now, a star will explode 